a change gon' come. Yes, it will. Oh, I know. A change gon' come. I said I know. FM Studios in Lagos. It's the discourse with Jimmy Disu, brought to you by MTN. Life is more beautiful when you allow yourself to appreciate the little things, uh-huh. the little things. Uh-huh. Every day is more complete when you can enjoy uh-huh. the simple things. Uh-huh. The simple things uh-huh. A little more convenient I go a long, long way You'll be amazed How much time you save yo. When you leave the star Nine of four hash You like Star nine of four hash Oh yeah, I'll pray to shop, shop Retired like Pam, 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 pam Star nine of four hash Wherever you are To reload is easy Like pam, 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 pam Star nine of four hash Shows down Star nine of four star The amount you want to recharge And hash And with one single down time instantly directly from your bank account simply dial star 904 star the amount of airtime you want and hash <laughs> we had sleepless nights nice for weeks before his first tooth appeared then it finally came and he never stopped smiling the whole day <laughs> when he took his first step he went straight to the kitchen <laughs> and on his first day in school oh, i couldn't hold back the tears of joy now that he has come of age, I can't wait to see what his reaction will be when I give him his first MTN smartphone tomorrow. This season, surprise your child with an MTN smartphone for as low as 13,000 Naira with a three-month data bonus offer available at all designated MTN stores nationwide. There's a song for every mood. That's what you play when she says, I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me. And this is what plays when she tries to get back into your heart. And this is what you play when you're with Bay or Boo. So get the right playlist for every mood on Music Plus, the number one streaming platform in Nigeria and Africa. For local and over 3 million international songs, download the Music Plus app on Google Play and Apple App Stores or text MUSIC to 5900 to enjoy unlimited streaming, offline streaming and flexible price plans. It's available on all devices. So get it. Music Plus. Music Unlimited. You're listening to The Discourse with Jimmy Dusu, brought to you by MTN.
welcome everybody to the discourse with Jimmy Disu on Classic FM 97.3, brought to you by MTN, and um, we thank MTN for sponsoring this program. Yeah, so um, today we are going to talk about something that's a bit more relaxed. We're going to talk football, and um, as is my usual practice, if I'm not too versed in something, I lean on those who <laughs> those who know much more about this than I do. And that's why the next voice you'll be hearing after I speak, not, and I'm going to give him a signal to speak, he won't button. But the next voice after I speak will be shared by the, the pundit. Uh, of course, all of you, you know, you can give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> can you do something like that? Uh, uh, Shegu, Shegu, of course, you all know, is here, both here and Lagos Talks um, during the week. So we're going to talk football, but the gentleman we want to drill, we're going to put him through drill by the time he leaves here. There will be nothing, practically nothing left of him. Is Shagun, is Shagun, Tony Bitoye. Is that right? Yes. Tony Bitoye. Now, Tony Bitoye, I'm sure all of you know, used to be, you know, I used to love his program on, on channels every evening. You know, you kind of listen to it till you get to the news at 10. But the Super Eagles hijacked him. And uh, he's now their media, yeah, 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 the media officer of, of the Super Eagles. Uh, and you just came back from Russia, be. Yes. Okay, from Russia with love. <laughs> Shagun, you're welcome. Okay, but fine. before we do that, let me first of all talk, let me talk about, and then we have some people in the house. Uh, Tony's wife is here, my friend is here. <laughs> I come back to you at the Shagun lady shop. It's my wife that's here. Tony's <laughs> wife is not here. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. It is, it's, it's, one of, it's one of those days. <laughs> now, now uh, the, 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 so, uh, I'm not advertising my blog here, but these are things that I believe you must read. There is a very strong article written by The Economist. I'm sure most of you know The Economist. And it's called, it's titled, The Unprecedented Level of Patience Shown to Buhari. What they have done in like a two full scrap page analysis is to do an analysis on President Buhari, his performance. And um, the scorecard doesn't look good at all. Ad ad address is on, is on my blog now, jimmydisu.com. You know, the, it's written by the economist and it's called, the title is The Unprecedented Level of Patience Shown to Buhari. Uh, and uh, they're almost wondering, I'm sure, they're almost wondering why we've been this patient. But I'd like you to read that, read that ad article well and then we'll do, we'll analyze it on Tuesday, you know, at nine o'clock as usual. Then they also, there's a story there also about why the SSS blocked the FCC from arresting uh, Itai Kwenyong. Um, it was called from the Premium Times. It was called from the Premium Times, but you also have it on the blog. And um, guess what? Mugabe is to get a $10 million payoff and immunity for his family. You know, after the man is suspected of whacking them dry, then they have to scuttle around and look for another $10 million for him to leave the scene. And then he has immunity for himself, his wife, and his children. Africa is a long way coming. We still don't know what we are doing, unfortunately. But I think the thinking is um, let's console ourselves with that. It's better for him not to be there and continue scraping the bottom of the pot than you know than to you know uh, than just find another ten million dollars and at ninety four. Your guess is as good as mine. Also, <laughs> I heard that um, Obanikoro dumped the PDP for the APC over the weekend and uh, the theme of his speech now listen to this the theme of his speech after crossing from ad to to pdp and back again to it and whatever the theme of his speech he says and having questions to answer in his recent whatever he now says that i'm on a mission i don't know <laughs> that's what he says he says oh, but Nicolo does pdp for abc and he says i'm on a mission well I hope that mission doesn't have anything to do with me. Right. So, and um, I read somewhere that the, 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 the uh, chairman of the APC says that um, with Obanikoro in their, in their kitty, there is no opposition for the APC in Lagos again. Well, I hope, yeah, that might look like it and they might wish to do as they please. Like they've done most of the time. But there are always surprises in this game. Are we doing? There are always surprises in any game. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you, you remember you remember the game we played against Russia. Half time we were four zero down. Two zero this, down. 
No, this was in 1990. The Damar Miracle. The Damar Miracle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Some of us have switched off. We are not at the stadium, but we switched off our TVs and we've gone to drink some uh, black bottle thing, the big one down the road. And uh, when we had goal, when we had the third one, we kept asking, who has been scoring? <laughs> <laughs> then we all, then, then we, we all ran back, we all ran back to, to the TV to watch the fourth goal and the final de- defeat. Or oh, ironically, Russia. Yes, Russia. It was Russia. Uh, what's Russia like? What's the country like? Do you, yeah, it's, it's, do you, uh, do you is it? Do you feel okay there? I mean, they will be hosting the World Cup, so we have no choice than to. Um, yeah, yeah, but, but, do, but do you actually? Yeah, well, as, I, as a foreigner, you don't feel any. I didn't. I didn't spend too too long a time. How I spent just spend? a few days. Um, we got in, I think, on uh, on a Saturday mm-hmm. and uh, played a game Tuesday night. Okay. And Wednesday morning, we were already on our way back. So back. I mean, and my stay there was just hotel to training. I looked at your. Hotel, I, I, look, I looked at your hotel training. through Skype. You know, you were talking from <laughs> Skype. Was that from your hotel? Yes. Ah, yes. I'm not yes. Really it was, good. I'm not really very good. Cold. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Russia is eight times the size of Nigeria, I'm told. Okay. And so it's a, it's a very, very big country. And um, they are hosting the world. So we have to get ready. Um, and it was there. freezing. Um, Krasnada is a little warm. But Moscow, I'm told, is uh, sub zero. Oh, yeah. So and we are getting ready to go to Moscow for the world control. Sub zero. Wow. So we have to find a way of when, uh, keeping warm. When, when is the World Cup specifically? June 2018. June 2018, 2018 to July 2018. June to July. So if you want to go to the World Cup, now is the time for you to book your t- Can you get tickets to buy now? Yeah, I don't think so. If you want to go for the World Cup and um, you buy a ticket to one of the games, yes. I think the Russian government have made it very easy that with your uh, match ticket, yes. you can um, easily get into Russia. Um, you almost like your, your ticket is like a visa now. For you to be able ah, to come in and watch the so games, so you don't yeah. need to, you don't need to go it's, to it's the easy now for embassy. you once you get a match ticket. Yes, I mean original match ticket. Yes. There's a code that will allow you um, get into Russia. How much enjoy is that the ticket? games? Uh, I want to care or compare the price against going to, going through the Libyan roads. <laughs> 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 I mean this. Nigerians have this thing that they just must hey, leave the country. Hey, will give you the details of that. I don't, you think he wants to leave his wife and go to Russia? <laughs> <laughs> but you never know with men. He just fights. <laughs> okay. But thankfully, we qualified. And ironically, we qualified without much tension. Was it our performance or was it luck? Now, I'm asking you this question as a journalist. Drop your media, whatever, and answer me. Then I'll ask him. Yeah, um... I mean, you prepare your own luck. Um, yeah, okay. You prepare your own luck. I think um, um, right from the time the draws were announced and we saw that we were in a very difficult group, hmm. uh, I think the first um, kudos will be um, to the NFF. Um, when they got on board, I mean, the Amaji Penic led board. Are they your employers? <laughs> I just want to clear that. I work with, well. You yes, work I for work, the NFL. I work for the Super Eagles, and the Super Eagles are uh, so they are your, they pay your salary. No, no, it's, I'm not, it's not a salary job. It's not a salary it, job. It, yes, it's, it's not a full time job. What is we it? only come into camp when there's a game, and you get allowances and and. Hey, so, hey, 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 bro, can, I, can I just jump in there? I mean, yeah. I, I love that kind of part time job. I, I love what it's, 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 it's enjoyable when we are winning. But <laughs> the first so it's, two, not, it's not seriously. It's not a full time. No, job. it's not a full time job. It's not. Oh, so what do you do the rest of the time? Now when I'm when I'm out of um, the the camp, the I camp. have time to do my own little business. And ah, we miss you. We miss you. You should come. <laughs> should come. So, what, what, what I promise you is, is, anytime you're less busy, I'll donate my slot to you on Lagos so I can have it. <laughs> but back again. But I just wanted yeah. to clear that. But so you're giving them the credit. No, no, yes, because yes. Um, you know we had failed to qualify for. Nations Cup in 2015. Mm-hmm. We had failed to qualify for Nations Cup in 2017. Okay. And then we went in that kind of difficult group. So everybody felt, look, it's mission impossible. But mm-hmm. then they said, look, we have to get a coach in place. Okay. And we are going to sink or swim with the coach. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was so terrible. It was so bad at that time because there was, there was a lot of confusion about the leadership, the crisis, um, yeah. the, the faction, trying to hijack. I mean... Uh, the running of football, and so it was really messy, and everybody felt that um, we were not going anywhere from that group. Uh, but once we were able to sort out the leadership issue, and we got a coach in place, um, the NFF, the man they wanted, ironically, 
uh, bagged out at the last minute because he said he doesn't want to live in Nigeria. Mm. So they said, look, the coach you are going to get is somebody that will work here, live here, mm. and um, be fully committed to us. And um, I think we were prepared for a Genetro, and a Genetro was prepared for us mm. because that was a marriage uh, made in heaven. He came in hungry for success and met a team that was young and also eager to prove that look, the mistakes and our failures of the past were just happenstances. Mm. We can get back to winning ways. And we took it one game at a time, one game at a time, and before you know it, we had qualified for the World Cup with a game to spare. Sure, good, so yeah, I think... Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Uh, yeah, by and large, um, I was one of the first Nigerians to meet um, Ganatro when he came in. I went along to meet with him at the hotel with uh, Shiaki Umi, the first vice president of the... NFF, and I found him to be, as uh, Tony says, very hungry, very ambitious. His antecedents, because when I first heard about it, it was like for me, and I told him when he came on, he's been on our program Sports Zone tw- twice. Mm. I told him that he was like Gene who, you know, because it was coach of Burkina Faso, Niger, Gabon. I mean, even when you introduced him to me, I didn't know him. Yeah, in fact, uh, he said, he asked me, he said, Do you know this gentleman? Yeah. Guess who he did? And the man was right in front of me. <laughs> he said, Do you know who he is? I bet he signed to Shegun like, no. But Shegun kept persisting. Do you know who he is? So I asked if it was some musician or something. No, a basketball <laughs> coach. <laughs> a basketball coach. Hey, well, you form a hand that day. I, I tell you. Take, I seriously. I didn't know him. You know? Yeah, but... but And then, as... Uh, I agree with you too about the NFF finally mm. managing to extricate themselves from all these... Some crazy people that, are, you know, are doing all sorts of nonsense and dragging us backwards... Yes, there were the failures for back to back, uh, failure to qualify for back to back Afghans. So everybody was pulling in the, the same direction and we're in a very, very difficult group. I think for me, the toughest on paper mm. of all the African qualifying groups, where we may have got a measure of luck was in the way the draws were structured. Mm. That is, our first, our first game was ostensibly against the weakest group team in the group, which mm. funny enough turned out not to be so. But we actually now went to Zambia and did what we've never done before. That's beat Zambia in Zambia. I was uh, privileged to be on that trip. You know, we're all in Dola and everything. And I remember the Zambians gave us, we won the first half 2-0 and they won the second half 1-0. And I remember the last 10, 15 minutes of that game, I turned my back on the pitch because I couldn't, I was pitch side. Mm. They threw everything and the kitchen sink at us, but we managed to prevail. That now set us up. Then Algeria and Cameroon, Obliged, uh, you know, obliged us by, by playing a draw, and we seized the initiative from that moment on, and we never let it go. So, you know, you, the as you rightly said, you know, the harder you work, the luckier you get. So, beating Zambia we set us up, you know, because it turned out that Zambia at the end of the day was a uh, tough, uh, uh, the hardest team apart after us in the group, and we managed to beat them, beat Algeria at home, uh, beat Cameroon at home as well, and um, the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, but um, Tony. Do we have a winning team? Um, for a novice like me, let me first of all admit that I'm a notice. I'm a novice, but I know when I see good football. But good football might not bring goals. That's the funny thing. Uh, I've watched the Eagles play, and I've not been entertained. Okay, I, I've not been entertained. But then, like I said, don't you can't use me as a yardstick. I'm just somebody who wants thrills and frills. But it, it, the Eagles remind me of the good old Rangers when I was much younger. Who would, ISC would entertain you all the way down, but Rangers would still win. <laughs> By sheer doggedness, they still win. What kind of a team do we have? Yeah, um, I think our team is um, very delightful to watch now. Okay. Um, we have a very um, hungry side. We have a very good blend of um, young players with mm-hmm. a with experienced players and I think our team now has evolved into a team that plays good football I mean puts the ball on the ground string passes together very organized defensively and um, very quick on the counter I mean that's been our strength now our mm. beauty um, our transition period is quick very effective and uh, you love to watch us play now um Okay. A lot better now than what it used to be. So, I mean, I have a look at our games. Um, Zambia away, our goals were set piece, counter attack. Algeria mm-hmm. in Rio, the game we won 3 1, counter attack, 
um, set piece. Then the masterpiece for me was um, Cameroon in Uyo. We hammered them 4-0. And this is the Cameroon team that had improved uh, within a six-month period. They had become African champions. Uh, and they'd been in camp for far um, a lot more time than we had. And uh, for us, everybody felt there was no way we could get past the Cameroonians. And we picked four out of the six points um, against Cameroon. Our game against Cameroon was a masterpiece for me. Our goals were well worked out, were beautiful goals to watch, swift counter-attacking goals, and um, could have even scored more in Uyo. And of course, when we went to... So why didn't we? Well, in football, you don't convert all your chances sometimes. <laughs> if not, you'll be having basketball scores. So, um, and then, um, Yaoundé, um, mm-hmm. another beautiful game for us. We were very, very effective, very disciplined, and um, the game against Zambia in uh, Uyo was a very difficult game, but we managed to um, eke out a win, which sealed our place in, in Russia. But I think, and then when you see our last friendly against um, Argentina, look at the quality well, look of at, our yeah, goals. What? What? The quality of our goals, counter-attacking moves, yeah, that was beautiful a... passing. I mean, it, it was Who do we give the credit for this? You think it's the coach? Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, I don't want the diplomatic answer. No, no, no. I want Every, the professional ev- answer. Yeah, everybody. The coach will not do anything without the players. The players will be rudderless without the coach. Uh, but coach and players wouldn't have something to fight for if they were not well motivated. Shagu will be less diplomatic. <laughs> who, 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 who do we give the credit for this feat? Um, I, I from a, well, Tony is only a guy, so I mean, I relate very well with so at the risk of to everything he's saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm forced to. I, I just don't want to disagree for the sake of it. But I guess it's right. Like in general, but you see, what, what he's done that other coaches, you know, first things first, I was one of the biggest supporters of Amadou's decision, or rather the NFF decision to go for um, uh, a foreign coach because of what I personally witnessed in Brazil in 2014. Mm. I still feel that along with the 1998 squad, the 2014 squad, I probably my French were a bit of a disgrace. You know, mm-hmm. the, the issues of match bonus was just disgraceful. The dissensions, the camps that were formed, you know, there were different factions in camp and all that nonsense, you know, which uh, unfortunately can develop under uh, um, you know, an indigenous coach. So, one of the first things Gennaro told me when he came in was that he he wants to create, what's the word he used now? Um, an amity, a togetherness. Solidarity. It's all, God bless you. Harmony in camp. You know, that everybody's fully. So I think that's one thing he's achieved. Everybody I've spoken to, including individual players, speaks of the harmony, the solidarity in camp. Everybody now is pulling in one direction. And the stories of redemption. Mikel Obi, for me, uh, our captain now, was one of the worst players in Brazil. Yeah? Mm-hmm. He played every minute of the game, of all the games, but for me, it was one of. But right now, He's one of our best players. Mikel's redemption started at the Olympics where he led the Olympics through sheer dints of efforts and bloody mindedness. He took us to a bronze medal in the Olympics and he has carried on in that effort. So maybe as a like, you know what? Brazil was, everybody in life makes mistakes. Brazil was a disaster. God has given us a second chance. I spoke to the likes of Odio Igalu, hmm. Brown Ideye, you know, who is, who played in Zambia, integral to what we did in Zambia, not in the squad right now, but still hoping you know, that can get back into the squad. So right now, it's not about money. It's about players wanting to make their mark. So I think I think everybody's psychologically tuned. You know, everybody's got it right. And I'm really kudos to the NFF, throwing them them, for sitting down with the players and saying, look, these are the monies that are coming in. This is how we go. before the game. You agree oh, or you okay. agree? You understand? So that issue of what happened between us and Ghana, which made us the laughing stock of the world in 2014, will never happen again. It has been agreed now. In fact, we're hopefully going to have um, Chair Akiwa on a program tomorrow morning to give us more, you know, details about the agreement between the Super Eagles and uh, the NFF, you know. And then, so, when you've sorted the players out off the pitch, you have created that enabling environment. Mm. So, kudos to the NFF too and the coach and the, for creating an enabling environment which is making everybody want to work together. And maybe let me beat Chair Akiwa. Let me beat you guys to it. And maybe... Tony so will talk, we'll talk about what has been agreed with the Eagles. Yeah, um, well, it's... Um, I, I would rather say I can when we come to talk about it because it's... Um, but you should know you have the press. To, top secret. It's an agreement 
between the players and the uh, how come Shiyaki will talk about this and you will talk I want to meet, I want to talk Shiyaki about it before he Shiyaki will miss my boss <laughs> yeah, but, but, <laughs> so if he talks about it but, but, okay. Okay. but, but, but the players yes. are happy I mean, I mean Everything that, is. for me the most important thing is that um, in fact it was the NFF insisting that let's conclude this arrangement the players were still saying look we still have time the NFL said no. We want Let's to make sure Better. we sort it out we'll sort it now. Out now, no embarrassment. Yeah. So mm. they have created a very, very good, conducive environment. And for the first time, you see the players are so happy. It translates to what we see on the training pitch. Uh, every training session is so intensive, and the players are so cordial. They have all the equipment they the need. The coaches everything. are tuned to the work. Psychologically set for the assignment, and I guess that was what um, um, made. Um, Argentina look like piece of cake when we played them in, in that friendly because it, we were just coming out of that meeting when we played against Argentina and then two two one down in the first half and then they saw the turn around in the second half so I think I hope and I pray because <coughs> we're working hard we're praying hard that everything just comes together for us but we've not had it this good before who decides the team list now the coach is in charge he's left completely completely okay. in charge I mean we have every reason to trust him. He decides, because, you know, you know, in the past it wasn't most, uh, about trust, but about personal interests. No, this is different now. And, and mm-hmm. somebody, I mean, asked this question a few weeks ago, and I told him, "Look, take a look at our team and pick out any player that you feel shouldn't be here. Shouldn't be here, yes. That is here. So no federal character, nothing. Is yeah. the coach because the coach doesn't know, he doesn't know anybody from anybody. He just knows footballers, those who can deliver on the pitch, and mm-hmm. and that team is." Getting better with every game, which is which is very encouraging. Okay, I'm sure I'm sure people have questions to ask you, and the number to call would be zero seven zero zero one zero 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 nine seven three. Let me go through it again: zero seven zero zero one zero 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 nine seven three, and uh, the SMS portal would be you send an SMS to three three nine seven three. Three three nine seven three, and the Twitter handle is at Classic FM nine seven three. But please add at Jimmy Disu so I can read it on my little device here without having to strain my eyes to see what's going on there. Do we have a caller? Okay, we don't have a caller yet. Oh, we have one. Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, we. I think we we lost that. We lost that. Okay. This is a good time to take a break. We'll take a short commercial break and then we'll be right back. There's a song for every mood. That's what you play when she says, I'm sorry. It's not you. It's me. And this is what plays when she tries to get back into your heart. And this is what you play when you're with Bay. So get the right playlist for every mood on Music Plus, the number one streaming platform in Nigeria and Africa. For local and over 3 million international songs, download the Music Plus app on Google Play and Apple App Stores or text MUSIC to 59000 to enjoy unlimited streaming, offline streaming and flexible price plans. It's available on all devices. So get it. Music Plus. Music Unlimited. Life is more beautiful when you allow yourself to appreciate the little things, uh-huh, the little things, uh-huh. Every day's more complete when you can enjoy, uh-huh, the simple things, uh-huh, the simple things, uh-huh. A little more convenient can go a long, long way. You'll be amazed how much time you save you when you leave the star nine of all hush and life. Oh yeah, great to shop, shop, retired like pam, 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 pam. Star 904 hash. Wherever you are to reload is easy like pam, 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 pam. Star 904 hash. Shells down, star 904 star. The amount you want to recharge and hash. And with one single dial, you recharge like pam, 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 pam. Buy airtime instantly, directly from your bank account. Simply dial star 904 star. The amount of airtime you want and hash. You want music where go cool your temper. <laughs> music where go ginger your swagger. Enemies don't go by kerosene. I 
music we go Tatari your belly Yeah, yeah Scatter your dada And be Afro, Brazilian, Peruvian Or even if your hair be like Trump What's bad penalty, Lord Trump? Just download Music Plus app The correct place where you feel get all the Niger and abroad bedu Acid they hot for Africa Download now for Google Play or Apple App Store Make you begin to enjoy better bedu We don't get full stop Even if you don't get data And the price, I'm no they tear pockets man. You're listening to the discourse with Jimmy Dusu, brought to you by MTN. You welcome back to the discourse with Jimmy Dusu on Classic FM ninety-seven point three, and I have Tony Bitoye here. Uh, he's a media officer of the of the. Uh, Green, no, the column, the super, super eagles. eagles. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> <laughs> my mind is somewhere else. Uh, super eagles. And I also have my very good friend, uh, Chef Gwagwede, the pundit, who the only point of disagreement with him is the fact that he went to Ibobi and I didn't. It's still <laughs> painful up till now, but uh, what can a man do? Yeah, do we have a caller? No, 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 we don't. So we have all good news all, all over. Okay, hello. Hello? Hello? Lawrence, I sure there's something you're not pressing me, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, keep trying. Um, so, we're, we're all good to go. Now, the draws are not out, are they? Uh, the draws will be on Friday, December 1. Oh, December in 1, in Moscow. Yeah, oh, you'll be there. Made. I'll be there. You'll be there. You'll be tweeting the... Yes, it will it, be live. It's going to be live on television. It's going to be live on oh, TV. Definitely. It's going to be live on TV and... I'm sure everybody will be waiting yeah, to we find will be out where we'll find ourselves. Huh. Um, what kind of team would frighten you that we could... What kind of team would frighten you, you know, if you say in the first round of the competition? It's a very tricky question because um, our last group for the World Cup qualifiers in Africa yes. has shown that, look, when we are in what people describe as a group of death, we find mm, ourselves zone. alive. At so the end so of we should pray for a death zone then? So, I'm not always um, talking about I want this one, I don't want this one because mm. you don't know what kind of team you pray for and what kind of problems you create for yourself. Of course, there are favorites for every World Cup. Brazil, Argentina, Spain, Germany. Mm. These are top teams that you always tip to win every World Cup. But our team, as the coach said after our game against Argentina, he says, look guys, we've beaten Argentina, top four team in the world, um, we don't fear anybody, but we have to respect everybody. Yeah, don't take so that, that's the attitude. Granted. We stay humble, we stay hungry, we stay committed. We we are also confident, but we don't overrate anybody. We go out there, we treat everybody with respect, and and do our thing. But is is the emphasis on homegrown, of on home players or our foreign players? Where is the emphasis? Nigerian players. Yeah, but was it okay? Is the emphasis? Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I'm not for. Uh, is it? Well, we have to nail him there. That's a very police call answer. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to take that for an answer. <laughs> is the emphasis going to be on players who play in the Nigerian league, or players who play in the foreign league? I always answer that question this way: the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Yes. Is for any player that is a Nigerian, whether you are playing at home. Or abroad, once you have the required quality. All right. Next question. <laughs> the, <laughs> you know, before we had this habit of always, you know, relying more on the foreign, those being the foreign players. Now, this new uh, uh, dispensation that we have, are they going to be calling in more foreign players than those who play here? It's the same question, but put in other words. Yeah, they, they, if you they, escape, I'll re ask it again. Well, the truth is, our team, um, as much as I like to describe them as the best that Nigeria can afford, whether home and abroad, the reality of our football today is that our best players are outside. That's the reality. Yes, that's the, we can't that, run away from it. That's the reality. A, a very good it. example. Hmm. Last season, um, some of our best players were Alassane Ibrahim, hmm. Stephen Ode. Just last season. Yes. Stephen Ode with MFM, Alassane and Brian with Aqua United. Mm -hmm. The best players in the league. The two of them are no longer in Nigeria. They've gone. One is in Sweden. I mean, one is in Switzerland. The other one is in Austria. Mm. A few years ago, our best players were Sunday Mba, Bola Salami, Godfrey Babona, 
um, all those guys, no one is around anymore. They've all gone abroad. Mm. So, th there's a problem we have about being able to keep our best players here. We can't because we don't have the money. And then, there's a lot that goes into making a player that is in the local league of standard for the mm. Super Eagles. There's, there's the quality of coaching. Playing for the Super Eagles is more than what the skills that you have. There's a lot that goes into it. Mm. Your nutrition, your attitude, your... I mean, everything goes into being prepared to play into the Super Eagles. And we have to do a lot of work here. There are players here who can... I mean, under Stephen Keshi, we had about six, yeah. seven players from the local league who would play in the national team. But the difference at that time was that we could have these boys in camp for six, seven months. The coaches had a lot of time to brush them, polish them, play a lot of games. But things are different now. The FIFA window is a lot shorter now. Mm. So we don't have the luxury of the time, time to spend three, four months in camp to polish players and make them ready for the Super Eagles. But the long term is for us to be to develop our football, the quality of the coaching, the quality of our pitches, facilities, the attitude of the players, the welfare of the players, to that stage where anybody from here can fit into any part, any team in the world and play. But uh, you, uh, so, okay, yeah. yeah I, I want to ask a question. Let, let's flip it here. I hear what you say, and um, I'll be honest. One of the worst games I've ever watched the football matter was the Ito Cup final. It was dreadful. Yeah, and I know Ghana was there. So, because we see we have different camps, especially in the media. There are people that everything foreign is good, everything local is bad. Then I belong to another camp. Is that let's give our local players a chance? But I hear what you say that um, uh, our local, the MPFL, is not what it ought to be. We are not there yet, but we are trying. But we have the we have this competition coming up in um, in January, the Championship of African Nations, Chan. Yeah. Now the Ikechu, Ikechuku Ezenwa is the Chan captain for the Super Eagles, and he is also at least the one MPF, the one regular MPFL player in the in the local in the national in the Super Eagles. Now I'm asking, supposing we have two or three players, because we're talking about tournament conditions, and they're going to be up against the best Africa. Has produced because quite a few countries, uh, the powerhouses that are in Chan, most of their players are domestically based anyway. Mm. So we're saying now that if we have two or three players that are exceptional in that tournament, that they won't get a chance to Super Eagles. I mean, the, the Chan has always been a very good window for these home-based players to get into the Super Eagles. Um, remember 2014, that the Chan gave um, Ejike uh the chance to go excellent. to the World Cup, yeah. um, Egweke. Um, and this guy um, who partnered the Gweke at uh, Chan and then made it to the team too. Sunshine player. I've forgotten his name now. Ah, I don't know um, who you're talking about. Ah, yes. Oh. Ah, I've forgotten his name. Plays for Sunshine and then I think he's in Sudan now. Uh, he'll, he'll come don't come me. Yes. Only, don't me. Serious, Only, don't me. So, seriously good defender. The, the they are Chan, rocket defender. Yeah. Chan will always be a window for you to show what you can do and mm. that's exactly what the coach has been looking for. The Chan is a step higher than what we see on the domestic scene because you have the best players from the domestic leagues in Africa at the Chan. So, one or two of those guys will always have a, a, an opportunity of showing to the coach that, look, I can be relied on. I mean, Alassane got his first call-up to the national team from... Uh, Based on his performances. From the MPFL. Yeah, yeah. You know, so the chances will always be there for those who show that they have the quality. My emphasis is on having the right quality. Um, to play at the national team because the national team you don't have the luxury of time. You open camp on a two on a Monday, hmm. you start training on a Tuesday, you are playing on a Friday or on a Saturday. You have just about three training sessions. Okay, Tony, a follow up question. How about this this issue of Ganaro going to talk about this this guy here is talking to Jabna Kingsley Apogoma or something like that. One minute the guy says he's open to play and then the next we read in the press that he would rather pick Germany over Nigeria. I have nothing against once you're Nigerian having the opportunity to represent the fatherland or motherland as the case may be. But we don't need to go cap your hand to anybody. We don't need that. My, my attitude to all of those is uh, you know, I, I read all of these things too and my attitude to all of those things is um, I want us as a team to focus on those we have available. Mm. Yeah, okay, rather than going... We have a lot of quality. I mean, um, before um, Tyron played against Argentina, I've had a chance of talking to a few people about Tyron. Tyron Ibuei. Tyron was the guy that came in for the, the second right half and ran in and the second uh, half yeah. 
and made the Maria and the, the other time. guys look so ordinary. The other Gentiles mm -hmm. look so ordinary. And I always tell people that look, the day Tyrone plays, you will understand that look, there's a lot of quality in this thing because Tyrone is as good on the right side as he is on the left side. Left side. And we see it every day in training. Allah now plays on the left side of defense for the Super Eagles, but he's far better on, on the, the right, right side. side. So we have options. We should work on these guys. Let's focus on those we have available. And then you have a lot of other guys who have not even played. Some are even there who have played but are still coming up. Their potential hasn't been 100% realized yet. A table. Mm. There's a guy, Uchi Agbo, who can play anywhere across the back line. Anywhere across the back line. Uchi Agbo. Oh, what a player. So we have all these options. We focus on those we have available and stop chasing those we can't get. Mm. For me... I mean, we'd play against Argentina without Igalo, without Moses, without mm. Simon, without Onazi. Oh, yes, if, if they came without Messi, we came without uh, Odo and Igalo. Hey, and yeah. without Victor about Moses. That? Yeah, and without Victor so Moses. So let's focus yeah. on those we have available, mm. work on those ones. They can deliver. Moses is, is in the team, right? Victor Moses. Victor we, have, Moses. We, have to, we have to... We have a Victor Moses. We have a yeah, Moses Simon. I'm talking the one of the Chelsea guy. It's Victor, yeah, Victor, Moses. Victor Moses. Victor Moses. Okay. Um, apart from the technical side of things... You are also going to be needing support from the supporters. Um, how are you going to mobilize supporters to Russia this time around? Especially for our listeners who might be so inclined. How, how is it going to happen? Uh, you mean the organized yeah. Nigeria Football Supporters Club? Because I, I think the NFF um, are working on something. That it's, it's the first time that this is happening. It's a brilliant idea. Okay. And I, I think for the first time, there will be something for supporters... Of the Super Eagles, not the organized Nigeria Football Supporters Club, no, but no. fans of the Super Eagles. I think there's something that the NFF is working on. I'm sure in the next few days. Uh, do you think? Do you think? Uh, now this is a political question, and I know you might dive under the table. <laughs> but, but but do you think this has anything to do with the Ralph Ladapo leadership that has been, in, you know, that has been at the helm of affairs for close to thirty something years? Uh, do you think that the NFF is thinking? Because I believe that supporters club, whatever, should be youth motivated. You know, yeah, it's, it's a youth game. It's a youth deal. But you've had a leadership in that era. They've been there for, since I started my employment as a journalist, my first job, I'd known about this, this, uh, and they've refused to go. They keep changing the nomenclature. But, so is the NFL thinking of an alternative? So if I want to go as a supporter, I don't need to go and line up in somebody's office in Suleri. I can go by myself as a supporter. Is that what you're saying? Uh, the arrangement I'm talking about is yes. for the fan, not not yeah, fan, any, yes, anybody's fan, a fan, yes. the guy on the street, on the street, yes, that they are working on it. About a hundred fans, wow, on the bills of the NFL and their sponsors going to enjoy the World Cup. That's the, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm sure in the next few days, uh, th that plan will, um, will... So will, so people should be on standby and, and listen. They should listen and watch out for coming it. Up for, the you. for the first time, they are doing it. Something more, for the fans. I'd be more than glad to yeah. have that. But the Supporters yeah. Club, I don't have the details of their crisis, but I um, I must give them credit. They've always been there for us, supporting. The players look forward to seeing them uh, the, the, during football games. The, yes, always, but the rancor in the leadership has will, affected will, them seriously. There will be rancor because how do you have a leadership... 40 years, 35 years down the line, you don't want to hand over to younger people. Uh, well, there must be something that I don't understand. I, I know. It, 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 you, you know, Shaku, do you know, do you get where I'm coming no, from? I do, but it's a challenge. I know uh, Dr. Ladipo very well, and I've met him around the world in different places. And I, I'll be honest with you, anywhere we play, those guys are credit. In fact, I think where I was most proud of the Super Eagles, uh, all the Supporters Club, the supporters club was when we played Ethiopia away when um, we beat them 2-1. Qualifying, the yeah, qualifying, qualifying for the World Cup. I've never seen a more hostile... Maybe Al Alexandria was just as hostile. But, uh, I mean, these guys, from beginning of the game to the very but, end... But, but he talked about the rank of... No, which, I, which, I know, which, I'm, I'm which, we really, which we really don't need. We don't need that. And it's, it's, it that's should the be used it's affecting it. It's, it's an average, Why do you want to head a place for 30-something years? I, I do know that uh, the president of the NFF is trying to resolve that matter. Whichever way... The, the only resolution is for the man to hand over to younger people. Yeah, well, I'm, Let's I, call a spade a spade. Mm, I'm not an agricultural implement. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> There is no resolution there. The, the NFF man, Amaju, should prostrate for the man in the corner of his office and tell him, Baba Joko, leave this thing for younger people. 
I, 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 do you know what kind of supporters club would have had if it was run by 25, 30 year olds? The kind of things that we'd be doing. Well, it's not just going to see Maya or Maya. No. There are other things, the social media, name it. Now, but that is, support. Is, is a different company altogether. They are not a member of the NFF. They are, they I are know, independent of I the know, NFF. So I know. There's a little, there's little, little to, 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 a little that. You know, he told mean, me that you are going to throw Toyota the bus. You have, you have been letting because when you ask, first ask this, so that he artfully stepped uh, out know, of the a, path of the bus. You know, the problem, the problem with Toy is like, it's like trying to put a, 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 a size 13 shoe in a size 7. You know, it won't go in. Toy will always find a way. <laughs> and that's the beauty of, of interviewing Toy. He has all these. And then He's he very has, slippery. He had this chuckle. I wish this was TV. Uh, very disarming. You know, uh, yeah, what what kind chuckle. of question are you and asking? Yeah, 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 now, you know? <laughs> But it's not my job to be nice on this show. You know? Exactly. It's, 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 it's for the good of the game. I'm very weak here. It's for the good of the game. But you know, in all honesty, um, this is an, this is not a question so you can relax and breathe easy. This is just a comment and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, I honestly would love to see a youth-driven supporters club. I mean, I, 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 that's, that's my thinking. We need to hand over things to the youth in all facets of life. <laughs> we don't want Mugabe in, in, in sports now. But okay, but let me just let me just before you conclude on that matter. But I tell you yes. what, forget, Oops. Yeah. forget about what happens. The political rank at the top. Mm. I'm talking about the guys themselves. Even in Brazil, these guys were going everywhere by bus, by road, by road. We're talking traveling in between for eight for hours, seventy-two every, hours by exact road. Exact by road. These guys are just hard. to drum up support for the team. And the, the and younger, the younger guys would be ingenious. They would get this uh, kind of sponsorship that would let them move with better dignity. Mm. Yeah, well, it's, it's, so it's, not, it's, not, it's not enough for you to tell me that they took a more forty-eight hours to get to the next game. The younger people will be able to mobilize good sponsorship, and they will go. The younger people can even organize a chartered jet. What are you talking about here, yeah, mm. mm. Ah. Let's make allowance for younger people. That, that's, I, I, you know, that that's what the wrangling is all about. At the end of the day, you know, but uh, that's not what we, that's not what we are here to do. We are here to. Unfortunately, we, I don't know what is wrong with our phone. Um, we, we can't seem to take calls. Um, as of now, we have a small technical hitch. I don't know what, whatever it is. But so we are good to go in June. Um, where's our first game? Give us the details. Uh, we'll have details of um, all of. Oh, that. when the draw, do, when, when the draw, when the draw yeah. are made. Yes, Friday, 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 this Friday. Yeah. This Friday, I can't wait. We are, I can't we are, wait because we are because when the draws come now, the, our prayer has to be kind of different. For some, we have to bind some teams and put them <laughs> in the bottomless pit. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what, to, what, have, what FIFA has done? They put the top ranked team in pot one. The second tier in pot two, mm. then pot three, pot four. So which of the pots are we? We're in pot four. four. That's what we Yes, we yeah. surprise them yeah. by the grace of God. We we'll yeah. surprise them. Mm. So the most important thing for us to do is to pray to have a good tournament. So whichever group we find ourselves, a good tournament will mean we'll. Or rather, what, whichever group, other teams. I mean, whichever. Well, whichever. Yeah, whichever you're right. Whichever group we find ourselves, mm. we come out of it have a good tournament. I, I'm, 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 I'm a bit optimistic. Um. One of the reasons, one of the reasons is we don't have a dazzling performance, but hey, we qualified. And did anybody beat us? No, no, no. no. We 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 that's significant. Mm, mm. That's significant. We're not beaten by anything. I wish we could get caught. I'm sure a lot of there'll be a lot of people that have wanted to call in. Uh, Lawrence, can I have another look? No, we are not that lucky. All right. So, do we have? Let me see the tweets that we have, and I would like to read some. Um. <laughs> Governor must pay salary. That's his. That's his uh, name. At that that delay, and this is going. Says Uncle Jimmy, you're an Arsenal fan. How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I understand what you mean when you said you are not entertained. Well, Arsenal does entertain, but where are the results? And they says that Uncle Shegun will agree with me. I'm sure it's second that got this guy, this guy to send this. <laughs> Our staff has hit me enough already. <laughs> no comment. I'm sure it's, it's, it's second that got you know. And um uh oh these are these people are <laughs> two two guys are insulting each other here. I wonder why we can't have no they're not insulting me but I wonder why young people you know, people generally in the social media can't have a discussion 
Is that abuse? It's, it's sad, really. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's very sad. sad. It's very, yeah, the you, intolerance you know, level is extremely you know what, high. But, ex- yes. You know what? But basically, it's because they can't speak English. Oh. A lot no, of people. No, some of them. I, I, some <laughs> of them. They can't speak English. Some of them so they have... don't. You know, they can't. So, the, you know, since the, the grasp for English, the grasp for English is uh, limited. <laughs> They don't know how to use, uh, exactly. They they don't know how to use words like you know. You can use gent. You can that. There's um, a Chinese saying that um, he uh, you know in an argument. I mean, it was a story about two rickshaw uh, uh, drivers having a go at each other. And an English one. This was the 18th century. Said, how come they don't fight each other? And Chinese man said, he who strikes the first blow has lost the argument. You must be able to talk. Mm. Without reducing you yourself, your points. Uh, you get your yeah, point. I call discourse. I, 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 I also, I also believe that if if all you can do is abuse people, it must be shallow of ideas yourself. Yeah, you know, definitely, you don't definitely. have. Maybe you just don't like the person. And then basically, like to a lot of them, have no home training whatsoever. Mm. No, that, no, they, no, no, they no. abuse me. Uh, once, once you insult me, you can't insult me twice. Once you insult, I just get out of my Twitter. Oh, I don't, I don't need to just block. Block. I don't. But I am I insult me with direct message. Okay, can, 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 can me I can do song. whatever I can do whatever I like because I, I, <laughs> I can, still, can, still, still, can you imagine can you imagine to him? It still hurts me that he could get an admission to Bobby College and I couldn't. <laughs> I mean it, <laughs> it, 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 it tells me that there's either there's something wrong with me or he did something I didn't know about. <laughs> uh, he, he he was able to get it and I couldn't. We have a, <laughs> well, you can make them give uh, bros uh, he, 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 if I, now. We have an old voice with you today, I'll bring up the <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, you, you know the word that came to my mind. When he said you can you can have them give, I was going to say put two more award. Then I remember <laughs> I was alive. I know that I'm alive. Hey, for someone, no, no, you have to. Know what it was. <laughs> you know what? For someone, I was. You know, you know. Sometimes when you want to say something that you think, I don't just say for someone. <laughs> okay. Um, Uba, I don't know whether it's Uba or UBA. He says that uh, your guests are being diplomatic in talking about the Nigerian Supporters Club, a sport that is youth-driven. Can't have av- as can't have a support youth driven oh I, I i i think that he's just saying that look we're just being diplomatic here you know the funny thing about, you know let yes. me answer that question do why why i i mm-hmm. can understand to him because Tony is position the reason why i am being diplomatic is for me the this it's not and it's not ancillary to this conversation at all really it is it's not not for me for me, me it is for me it's a wealth for you but for me it's the yes. super eagles doing well the weather in, well, every, if, in Brazil, they, they couldn't even use their instruments because, because of the Vuvuzela in 2010. They refused, which was so upsetting because it, they couldn't it, come with their trumpets. They couldn't trumpet. It was so upsetting, you know. And for me, as I said, when the elephant fights the grasshopper, but I have met the rank and file of the no. supporters' clubs. I've been with them in Ethiopia where they were stolen our bus with water bottles and everything. Very, but these guys, they put their head. Let, let me let me tell you what my, let me tell you what what my thinking. You know, at one point I was in, in Lever Brothers and one of my functions was to oversee things like sponsorship. And I remember as far back as then, 87, credibility was a problem. Mm. So to get, if tomorrow you had a youth driven, better exposed person driving this supporters club, you'd be surprised at the sponsorship you will get. So this situation would not have arisen. So I don't care if they took a trailer or, 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 or a night bus to whatever to go and cheer up. It would have been better done if you had a better, more exposed no, but leadership, I agree with credible. you. Credible. No, don't, for, don't I forget. Agree there's with also you. the issue. There's also the issue of credibility. But I don't want to go there. Mm. Eh? I don't want to go there. But you're also talking about credibility here. Yeah. No, bros. Whether it's, whether credible or not credible, or not credible. Just like Mugabe, you can't be there forever. Really. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean... But you can do a lot of collateral damage. You can. So, obviously, I agree with you that, look, there should be a shake-up in the support. Let them sort themselves out. But basically... Can't, let me ask Tony, how will I ask it now that he won't feel embarrassed? You know, he picked up his tab. Why is this discussion is going on? So that I see no evil here, no evil. <laughs> but let me ask him, is it possible for the NFF to instigate or create, you know, I use the word instigate or create, a parallel supporters club that would be more credible and more accountable you know i'm choosing my words carefully more youth driven since if if there's this crisis that goes on in this supporters club can we not for a change um get the ministers buy in i, I, I don't know how that will go now to get it funded and have a, a parallel and proper a, a supporters club that the nff would recognize well, well the, the reality is that um 
the responsibilities of the NFF right now. If they can't add that to it. It's big enough to worry about. Exactly. As, and then, as, as, as 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 by, by the time you think about what's going on in all the states, exactly. and the amount of development that they need, and their mm. own competitions, and then the super egos on one hand, and the Falcons on one hand, and the coaches, That's true. We, still have, prices, we still have those ones. Too. And uh, the exactly. problems. Exactly. And managing. In fact, if not, there's, if there's so, anything that the NFF is guilty of, in my opinion, mm. is that they have put so much emphasis on the super egos. Super egos, yeah. That there's, there's, you know, to, they tend to ignore the other teams. Now, Tony, let me ask you, what plans does the NFF have for Chan? Because it's until recently we heard that they're going to play a Super 6 tournament in Kano or something, or Kaduna Kano. Then after that, a two-week training camp in um, in Morocco. You know, is that going to be enough? Are they, you know, friendly? Yeah, so I, I think our Chan team is... And, uh, and then secondly, second part, why is it that that kind of agreement that you had with the Super Eagles... That you didn't have something like that in place for bonuses and stuff for the Chan Eagles. No, no, no. It, it, the Super Eagles is one. Mm-hmm. Chan Eagles um, main team. Super Eagles, Super Eagles. Okay. That arrangement is for the World Cup. Any home base player that is in the World Cup squad will enjoy the same thing that the foreign base players. The Super Eagles is one. It's, there's no dichotomy. Mm. There's I'm no, talking about. I'm talking the about Chan. the Chan no, tournament. No, for, the Chan is like a Nations Cup tournament. The arrangement for bonuses are different. The bonuses for the Chan team, the arrangement is different, just like the Nations Cup. Uh, but then the World Cup, because for the World Cup, there's there's a, an amount that FIFA pays out. Definitely. Which is why it is... It is uh, 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 yes, it, yeah. it, it which is, is what different. caused a lot of furore yeah. in 2014. Uh, you, you talked about the NFF paying more attention to the Super Eagles. I think it's just um, a simple um, business decision. Qualifying for the World Cup guarantees the Eagles about $9.5 million. No other national team gets anything for qualifying for any major tournament. So, it's just wise that you try to make sure you enjoy that from FIFA anytime the Eagles qualify. But I agree with you that we should be doing a lot more. That's why we commend um, uh, the NFF, ITO, their sponsors, because they're taking care of coaches, uh, allowances of all the national team, not just Super Eagles. Everybody's involved. Okay. Well, one enemy that this program has, like all programs, I'm sure you face that too. Unless, of course, if I'm not around, then you can go for four hours <laughs> at Lagos Talks. It's time. And, and uh, our time it's is just off. 15 minutes now. Uh, what would you be? No, it's 20 ah, it's one hour. Yes. I hope I hope my research is. Yeah, it's 21 hour. If I any minute from now, Afrologic will walk in with his laptop. He has a way of walking in with his laptop all ready to go to dish out Afrobeat sounds. Tony, thank you very, very much. Uh, I hope the next time. No, we will invite you after the fixture. The work up draw. Yes. The draw. I'm going to, I'm to be on this show. Sorry, it's a privilege to be uh, here. So I'll always. We will, we'll so you've again. never been with us in sports zone, just on top phone, on top no, phone. And he's been with me twice. This, this ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, no. Uh, we are going to drag him on. No, you can't. We're you can't. Ah, we're there are some skills that those of us who didn't get to. Like, <laughs> 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 what are you wearing? Okay. You are now. Dad, eh? Eh? You, you are. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, so what you are? What you are? What? What? So that's another one. Two you are. Ah, sorry. I don't have like the That's he's an insult. Hey, what you are? What is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's nice having you, uh, Tony. Um, thank you, sir. We'll, we'll invite you again. And Sheikh uh, Mwagwede, let me specially thank Mrs. Mwagwede for for driving you here. Oh. Uh, the poor woman cooks for you Monday to Sunday, and yeah, I have to yes, drive sir. you back here again. Yes, sir. Uh, That's what she signed up for. Mrs. Mrs. Mwagwede, thank you very much. <laughs> And to my good friend here, thank you. Lawrence, yeah. thanks a million. Now, remember to read this um, article uh, on jimmydisu.com. It's, it's, we called it from The Economist. And it's, 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 you need to read it. It is Buhari's scorecard. It is Buhari's scorecard. And it doesn't, it's not looking good. Also, remember that um, Obani Koro says that he's on a mission. Okay? And so you need to ask yourself whether Obani Koro's mission aligns with yours. Uh, and it's a PT, PDP. I'm sorry, the way we are going, the the elections in, in Lagos State might just be a walkover in 2019. Um, that would be sad, very very sad. Uh, if you lost, opened your eyes and you lost San Nobanikoro to the APC, <laughs> that's that's a big one. Because whether you like it or not, Nobanikoro is Koro Ibo. You know, Koro is is voting, is election. It's a big fish. And I congratulate the APC for having grabbed him. I, I don't know whether that's to congratulate us as a people for the principles that are involved behind the scene. But-
but uh, that's a story for another day. That's the way Nigeria is. Lawrence, thanks a million.